and you're making a stamp and this is what your original design looks like you want to make sure that you flip it and add an offset because you want your stamp part to be backwards so that it stamps down correctly and you need that offset in order to engrave the negative space. This is what my engrave is going to look like for the rubber portion. Settings are going to depend on your laser specifically but you want to go ahead and go into here and go to advance and go to ramp length and you want to turn this from zero up. I went ahead and just clicked the up arrow one time. I am still a beginner at this. It seemed to work well for this and it's going to kind of cause your design to fade. I don't know if you can tell, but rather than just engrave it straight down. You also want to make sure that you have a copy of your outline and that's going to be your cut line. like when you're done and then I usually just wash it with soap and water to get this all off of here. You need to cut your outline out of a piece of foam because that's what's going to go in between your rubber and the wood. Here I'm just gluing that foam to the rubber with Starbond Adhesive Thick. This is just my favorite glue for everything. I think in the future I want to get some double-sided sticky foam to just eliminate glue altogether. You can get pre-made stamp blocks on Amazon and other websites, but I went ahead and cut my own out of a piece of maple and I am just gluing my rubber down to that with the same glue as I used prior. I did find using a Q-tip to spread the glue helped because you don't want spots lifting around the edges. And here's my first test run. There's a couple little spots that I'm going to need to fix, but overall I love it and I'm super happy with how this turned out.